where in 1395 a band of pitchfork-wielding peasants <laughs> confronted a grand army of mounted knights. cutting-edge technology.
Estudiantil Feminista Chileno. In honor of the Chilean Feminist Student Movement. We won't sit down. Fairbanks Museum in St. John's, <laughs> I'm Steve Molesky, <laughs> and my eye is on the sky. <laughs> as you can see, welcome to the night sky on Sunday, August 19th. As we look to the northwest, we see the moon in its 916th stage of emergence, which is very rare for this time of year. And at this time in the night sky, we can see Pluto, which has recently been renamed as a planet. It's the closest to Earth that it's ever been in the past 10,000 years, which is why it looks so big. <laughs> and special treat for this time of year, ladies and gentlemen, the Perseid Media Shower. <laughs> known as the famous Orion's Belt. Oh. <laughs> and just above, we can see an asterism of seven bright stars. The Underground Railroad call it the Drinking God. It's Ursa Major. You may know it as the Big Dipper. Oh. <laughs> and if you extend the line from the two extremist stars, to the North Star, you see a companion constellation, the Little Dipper. Yeah. And all across the night sky at this time of year, from horizon to horizon, the galaxy that contains our entire solar system, the Milky Way. Yeah. And such is the beauty, peace, and serenity of the night now sky in the middle. a minute there, Steve Malarkey. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Why, I'm Vice President Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my sidekick, Secretary of Defense, James Mattis. Hiya. Shut up. <laughs> my friends, history proves Peace only comes through strength. That's right. And in the realm of outer space, why, the brand new United States Space Force will be that strength.
with the intoxicating attractions of paradise. What are we, tenants or tourists?
couch we found on the side of the road. We'll solve our problems together. Come on over. Wait, wait, wait. Don't sit on that couch. It has bed bugs. I'll sell you all your own personal massage chair. You can forget about your problems. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. What about autonomy? Huh? Come on. Wait, Come wait. On. I too offer autonomy. It's a new show on Netflix. <laughs> but, but, but wait, 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 wait. But we could solve our problems together with cooperation and mutual aid. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. I can solve your problems with co-optation and mutual funds. <laughs>
4,645 puertorriqueñas y puertorriqueños que murieron a causa de la negligencia de las autoridades tras el paso del huracán María y a quienes aún no se les ha sido reconocida por el gobierno de Puerto Rico ni la administración de Trump. In honor of the 4,645 Puerto Ricans who died after Hurricane Maria due to the negligence of authorities, the majority of whom continue to go unrecognized by the Puerto Rican government and the Trump administration.
many people out there? <laughs> my name is Dr. So. And my name is Dr. So. And we are Dr. So, so and so. so. And we are here from the Department of Federal Linguistics. Making language accessible to the media industrial complex. That's us. That's right. And we're here today to introduce to you the new and improved Not-So-Evil-A-Tron, transforming heinous evil into palatable banality. That's right. Now, you might be asking yourself, what the hell does that mean? What the hell does that mean? That's what I was just asking. Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, people, there are some words in the English language that are just unbearable. So what we do is we take those words, we put them in the machine, and the machine spits out a more family-friendly version. I don't know. They look a little confused. Should we show them? that one. Oh, especially that one. Should we show them an example? Yeah, let's start basic. All right, here we go. Now, brace yourself. This is pretty bad, okay? Oh, yeah. Hippies with dolls. Oh, I can oh. smell it from over here. What am I supposed to do with this? Put, Put it, it in, in the, the machine. machine. <laughs> She's working. She's working. She's coming out with something. Oh! <laughs>
celebrating this afternoon an insurrection mass with a funeral march for a very rotten idea. And we start the Mass with an opening prayer that has the purpose to change this situation. First attempt. Sunday, useful for all occasions. <laughs> this is a uh, 
mystery god we know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the special god of the day, the god of moms and kids who shouldn't be separated. Mm -hmm. And now we sing the hymn of the day. to read us of the day to read scripture.
For the second scripture of the day, I present to you my own account as a humanitarian aid worker in southern Arizona. Our truck loped and bounced over the notoriously duff, rough desert roads on our way to the ranch on the outskirts of town against the backdrop of the mountain ranges that separate the U.S. from Mexico south of Tucson. Upon arrival, we introduced ourselves to the travelers. It was a family assembled in front of us. There was a mother and her daughter, as well as the daughter's boyfriend, all from Honduras. They were cordial but timid, shuffling their feet, eyes cast downward, as Katerina explained that she would be taking their vitals. We were here to help friends of the church, Samaritanos. They had been on the road for over a month. They crossed the southern border of Mexico by foot before trudging through the jungles of Oaxaca and Tabasco and Chiapas, walking the hills and stopping in small villages to rest. They had never been to El Norte before, but it became their home for some time as they struggled to find funds to cross into the U.S., eventually hoping to be reunited with family in San Jose, California. Their desert journey has been, had been intense, and they felt unwell. The days of waiting to cross, the hot sun, the terrain, their shoes were torn and their feet covered in blisters. They had been chased by La Migra, gotten away, became lost until now. With Katarina's presence, a skilled wilderness EMT, I stepped back to watch her taking mental notes of her observations and intuition, her precision and care. Things were going slowly. She stared down at her notes, furrowing her brow. Something was amiss. Estas embarazada? she asked the younger woman. My eyes widened as my heart sank. Our younger female patient was five months pregnant. I stepped out to allow some privacy. Katerina returned outside after some time to update me. Things were complicated. She had noticed the color of the older women's skin, as well as the younger ones, both jaundiced and yellow. There was likely something going on with their liver. She phoned a doctor for more advice. <coughs> the doctor surmised that they both had hepatitis, but with no lab to take samples, we were forced to diagnose on observations alone. We settled into what would be a long afternoon. The family told me that they were done walking. They were ready to get picked up by their ride. I exhaled deeply and began my explanation of where we were, of the border patrol checkpoints which lay north on each road. Even if I called an ambulance, they would be, they would be captured upon leaving the hospital. If they wished to continue freely, they had only one option, going back into the desert and walking north. There were many miles to go. The younger woman told me she hoped to have her child in the U.S. so that he or she may become a citizen. She looked over at her boyfriend and squeezed his hands, trying to affirm resilience, but morale was low. Her mother started crying. I told them that they should rest, that there was no rush to begin their journey again. It didn't need to happen today. Katerina returned from phoning the doctor, hoping to get medicine sent from Tucson. Until then, there was nothing to do but wait. I will now feed the second scripture into the mouth of hell. Border Patrol agents on a remote 
property just north of the Mexican border in January this year, there were questions. The 35-year-old college instructor with a doctorate in geography and a history of academic and humanitarian work along the border <laughs> was found in a building known locally as the barn in the company of two young undocumented men from Mexico. Accused of supplying the men with food, water, clothing, and a place to sleep, he was indicted by a grand jury in February on two counts of harboring illegal aliens and one count of conspiracy to transport and harbor illegal aliens. The humanitarian aid volunteer could spend up to two decades in prison. Warren is also one of nine volunteers with the organization No More Death an official ministry of the Unitarian Universalist Church of Tucson to be hit with federal charges in recent months for leaving water in remote federal wilderness preserve where migrants routinely disappear and die. His arrest came just hours after No More Deaths published a report that documents evidence of Border Patrol agents destroying jugs of water that the group leaves for migrants in the desert. I will now feed the final scripture into the mouth of hell.
stabilize our real and gutsy life by submitting it to the prescribed workforce habits. which are not acquainted with our souls. Verily, the mouth of the insurrection preacher says unto you, don't do it. wisdom of the ages, which imprisons you in the humanity factory. Don't waste your hearing by tuning in to the marching orders of our downhill civilization. <laughs> the whole thing is at stake, inclusive your real and not yet very life. Plus, the general planetary life, which means refugees and their oceans or deserts, as well as all dandelions and mosquitoes. <laughs> what is the all that we are meant for and that our civilized participation violates so furiously. What can our private little happinesses, which we are after, achieve? than the all that we are meant for. How much longer are we bicycling or car driving on the upset stomach of our one and only Mother Earth? that isn't human. And refuses to recognize the all, all around us. Therefore, the insurrection preacher's mouth says unto you, do it. <laughs> Practice zero tolerance on this absurd system of two-party incompetence. <laughs> End of sermon. <laughs> March for 
for this dear rotten idea and bury it in order to get rid of it.
lot of women that cannot be separated from their kids. Yes. And you think what Nadia and the great? Yes. Fly magic. We got that. Fly magic. <laughs>
are those going to be calm people or the actual real people that are just, um, just being really scared? What do they tie the ropes for? Do they tie it to the statue?
Quand tu le sèmes, quand tu le sèmes, quand tu le sèmes, quand tu le Et quand tu la roses, et quand tu la roses, et quand tu la roses, et quand tu la Et 
é quando o sol brilha sobre ela. Et les oiseaux s'en nourriront. Les petits se vont de la Et je m'en ai fait, Les Et les enfants du monde le mangeront. Et les crianças comeront diela. Et les mamies et les papis chantent Alléluia. Et les mamies et les papis chantent Alléluia. Et les mamies et les Alléluia.
Quand tu mets le monde à feu. Quand tu mets le monde à feu. Quand tu mets le monde à feu. Quand tu mets le monde Et quand tu l'empoisonnes. Et quand tu possèdes des Le monde pleurera. Et le monde pleurera. Et le monde pleurera. Et le monde Et les enfants mourront. Et les crianças mourront. Et les enfants 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 mourront. Et les enfants